So as part of AH's paid orchestrated attack on yours truly, trying not just to hit me in my channel, mind you, but to hit me in the real world as revenge for me covering this stuff, you have some of the worst accusations that these people have levied so far, hoping if anybody looks me up, they can do damage because, hey, they want revenge. The person pulling the strings with this stuff is transparent too, because this launches right alongside Newsweek coming at me, Barlow, the mouthpiece and girlfriend of AH doing it, Bot Sentinel, a place employed by H, and so much more. This doesn't just aim at me either. Oh no, it aims at dozens of other channels. People like Ricada Law, whom it says I recruited to the cause, too. Ah, you and I were. We're going to talk about all of this today. Crazy times, huh? Crazy times indeed. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently and talk about insanity. I mean, these folks, like I said, they don't just want to take down my channel. They want to hit me in real life. They want to try to ruin my reputation. But beyond that, they also want to rewrite what happened with AH. They want to blame all of this on somebody. Guess who they want to blame? Yours truly, because if yours truly lost her, the court of public opinion, well, she never has to look in the mirror and blame herself. I'm going to listen to some of this. I'm not going to hit everything, just going to hit some high points. Otherwise, it'd take me forever to go through this. But they say more than 4,600 anti-AH propaganda films curated by a close-knit group of raging incels, misogynists, red pillars, Alt writers, with one going on record to state they were hired by Waldman almost two years ago. They're trying to say, I was hired by Waldman. You know why? Because I ended up talking to the guy. I talked to a lot of people, too. Talked to people from Disney, talked to people from Warner. Did they hire me as well? Oh, man. I mean, this, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But it's going to get dumber. So three years ago, JD's legal team leaked footage, they're going to say, taken without AH's consent, to the incredibly average YouTube channel. Conversations were taped by him without her consent, and well, they were biased. They want to frame her a certain way. Yeah, you know where all of those tapes came from, by the way? They came from her phone. She ended up taping that. They're trying to discredit the Australian audio that you heard because what you saw with your eyes, what you heard yourself, uh-uh, can't be believed because those people over there. These videos, they were attached to transcripts which maliciously interpreted the low-quality footage to frame her. Then that footage was clipped, videoed by incel content creators like me. Incel. You know I got two kids, right? I also, I am happily married, been that way for a long time. But look, they try to go after that too. It's a crazy statement because how could you do both of these? And none of this stuff is true, by the way. A Missouri therapist. First of all, I don't know if I've ever been to Missouri. I actually, maybe I drove through it once, but yeah, never been there. These folks, they just messed up on a place where I had worked previously, but it shows their intent to try to do damage, who groomed a 16-year-old patient to become his wife when he was 30. Yeah, I don't really work with teenagers. Never really did. Maybe a few here and there, but really I worked with kids and I worked with very mentally unwell patients. That would be people suffering from, say, very extreme conditions. They probably just came out of a hospital setting. I ended up seeing them. They couldn't. They had to be housed at the time. Yeah, I didn't work with teenagers, like I said. Met my wife, actually, when I returned to college. She was going there. We have an age difference. She was an adult, though. That That's what they're trying to say. Nope, that can't happen at all. Yeah, I mean, that, like I said, that's trying to destroy somebody in the real life. They're trying their best to do damage. Then Tug and his army of incel gossip channels took those uh, footage, they skewed and misrepresented them, fed them to the general public, more content creators over the course of two years. And you notice here, 
They're basically trying to say, because of those clips, that's what lost A.H., the court of public opinion. No, she actually had the court of public opinion. She had it for the longest time, but she herself lost it. Why? Because she created a hoax crime that was exposed, and it was said in a court of law, by the way. So, then they go through and they say, all of this stuff is against YouTube policy. It's not. I mean, you, you should focus on some of the claims here. For example, they try to focus and say, well, they're protected classes. You can't do anything with. No, what the rule says is you can't have pronoun name calling or malicious insults. Don't do that. No better than to do that. They go through, though. And what's crazy is a lot of the stuff that they say is a violation, they themselves do. Doxing, for example. My name wasn't out there by itself. Oh, no. They, these people, threw it out. Dogpiling. What do you think they've been doing for a while? Brigading. Off-platform targeting. That's all these people represent. Then they go through channels. I'm not going to go through every channel here, but there are quite a few. I mean, look at the descriptions, too. Incredibly average. You have myself. Again, look at this quote here, too. Celebrity gossip channel targeting children. So, apparently somehow this is a children's topic. Not really sure how that's supposed to work. Alt-right. Myself, I don't really like politics at all. I'm not on your team, either team, because I don't want to be on anyone's team. And this stuff, it's worldwide. Psychotic incel. (laughs) The incel label again. Hired by Deb's team, the gremlins. So they call you names while also saying name calling. That's terrible. Was a proponent of all these movements. Was it around for the gamer thing, by the way? Comics? Yeah. Comics need a lot of reform. Anime gate, as they want to call it. That, that was about another false accusation thing. Vic Mignogna. That guy was also innocent. They also throw in the quartering. Film Street, Stevie J. Raw, Popcorn Planet, Viral Vision Videos, Colonel Kurtz, Binge Central, Joseph Morris, Mr. H, Dave Neal Show, This Happened, Osmond Gold, Yellow Flash 2. What's funny is Yellow Flash 2, by the way, they're saying, I recruited him. Yeah, that guy was actually covering this a little bit before me. He pointed me at it. I just went down the rabbit hole a lot deeper. But, I mean, look at all of the other folks. And they're going to throw in other people as well. The most active anti-AH witch hunt channels were created in 2019. At the same time, Waldman leaked voice recordings. <laughs> this is evidence that JD worked closely with Waldman and that umbrella guy to recruit content creators for his smear campaign, as evidenced by explanations given by that umbrella guy himself, another YouTuber who Tug recruited. So apparently, I recruited myself somehow, or are they talking about my extra channel? Because I do have another channel. Maybe I, I guess I recruited myself. You also have other people that are thrown in. You have Jessica Reed that's mentioned. Listen to this stuff here, too. This is what she said. I kept digging, eventually stumbled on recordings posted by that umbrella guy on his YouTube channel that highlight obvious patterns of abuse with AH and the triggering force behind the majority of these recorded conflicts. So they saw my videos. Therefore, I somehow recruit. Then they go after the law tubers. They say, by the way, I recruited Ricada Law, poor Poor guy, man. Poor, poor dude. Nate the Lawyer, Legal Mindset, Emily Baker, DUI Guy, Good Logic, Hoag Law, Legal Vices. I mean, again, look at everyone on here. People like Andrea Burkhardt have been on this stuff for ever to other folks. I mean, I don't know how they fit into raging incels as well. And beyond that, somewhere in these statements, I don't remember if it's in the main statements or if it's in the other statements that are thrown out in the comments, but they say that we were disappearing bodies on property here. We were doing all kinds of other insanity. Again, this stuff It is meant to damage. It is meant to defame. It is meant to get people flagging channels. And that's exactly what they try to do. They try to get people to flag channels with this stuff. Again, 
organized harassment, organized revenge, AH trying to ruin everyone. Says plenty, doesn't it? But anyway, let me know what you think about all of this stuff. And as always, too, like I said, I appreciate all of you. You make all of this stuff work. Thank you. Let everyone know that they're on this wonderful list, too. That they're all a bunch of raging incels that apparently I recruited at the time. Not sure how that works, by the way. But yeah, let everyone know. They could have fun with this stuff. They could blow it up. And they could call out the organized harassment for what it is. You also, if you want to help out the channel, we have links in the description. Those definitely help us out. They're trying to gun for us. You can tell. They're trying their best. We're not going to go silent, though. That's not what we do. Going to stand firm here. But yeah, you let me know what you think. Appreciate you being here, too. Ending here. Thank you. See you soon.